guys. Welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards.com. I'm Michelle Wright, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today, it's Monday, so we're doing clean and simple, and we're going to be using the Flurry of Wishes stamp set, and we're going to make this adorable card. This one, I used uh, Whisper White and Knight of Navy, and this is our gingham, half-inch gingham ribbon, and we also used our Softly Falling embossing folder we're going to make that card but we're going to change it up just a little bit and we're going to be using smoky slate so this is clean and simple we're going to be using this uh medium-sized snowflake and this duo set and we're going to be using the sentiment sending you a flurry of warm christmas wishes i think that's adorable so as always in the top in the eye in the right hand corner of this video and below in the description you will find a link back to my blog post that um, has all the measurements and the supplies so no need to worry about that so let's go ahead and set this aside bring in our whisper white and let's make sure i got the right piece here we're going to get a piece of scrap paper and i'm going to go ahead right off and i'm going to stamp uh, just the top the top snowflakes, which they're a duo, like I said. I think Night of Navy and Smoky Slate are so reminiscent of wintry colors, so that's why I thought that was so fitting. And I'm going to stamp this off just a little bit. And I'm doing that because I want that on there before I send it threw my big shot with my embossing folder, okay? And I am gonna bring in my big shot because I want to show you, as I've told you guys in my tip videos, you always want to send your embossing folders through whenever possible with the folded edge first. That way you don't get a lot of tweaking. And if you do that every time, over time it's gonna wear out. Well, what I wanna do is I'm gonna flip this around because the pattern is heavier at the base of this and lighter and I don't really want anything at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead this is going to be the top of my card up here so I'm going to just get that in there good and flush I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and I've got my Big Shot platform and I've got uh, my acrylic plate I'm going to put this in this way because I want to stop it so I don't have any embossing down here. So this is one of those rare occasions where you would put it in the opposite direction, okay? So I'm stopping it and coming back, okay? And by doing that, let's move our big shot. Now you see how I have it embossed at the top but not at the bottom? So that's our softly falling embossing folder to get that effect. Now, let's bring back our piercing mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set. And we're going to bring in our sentiment. Sending you a flurry of warm Christmas wishes. And we're going back to our smoky slate. I'm inking that up real good. And I just want to stamp that down here in the bottom. Give it a good impression. Very pretty. Okay. So, and then last but not least, I've got the large, which is really the medium size, but on this card it's the larger of the snowflakes. So it's our medium size snowflake. Let's ink that up real good. And we're just going to stamp this down here. And you know, I'm not a fussy cutting girl. So because of that, I simply have my two and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm gonna grab that, bring that in. It fills it all the way up. There we go. So we've got our stamping done so we can get these items out of our way and put up our smoky slate. And let's assemble this. Now I also have our smoky slate gingham ribbon, just like I put over here on this one. 
So right off, let's go ahead and use some fast fuse and put down our first layer. Whoops, I ran out. Okay, well, we're gonna go on and use some snail. And I'm gonna put that down. That's my first layer. Just making sure my edges all look pretty even. That's good. And then let's go ahead and I want this ribbon over to this side. So you know my little trick. I'm just gonna bring in a spritzer bottle and let's tie that. And then we're gonna make a knot. So I've got it over to one edge as you can see, okay? Slide it off, all righty. And that's gonna go right there. So let's put some of our snail back here. And we're gonna line that up. I want it over here to this edge, just above my words. Stick it down, get it good and straight though. I'll need it good and straight. You know, I've got to have that. Okay, now take your snips and just stick it in there at an angle. And look at that. Uh -huh. Pretty stinking cute. Now, let's go ahead and put snail just right over the top. Go all the way around. I don't want, I don't want it coming off. And we'll, I went right over that ribbon, as you saw. Bring it in, put it down. Remember, we're doing clean and simple. So now all we've got left to do is stick our beautiful snowflake on here. So let's grab some dimensionals. And I'm gonna take one right off the bat and I'm gonna stick it just about there. That way it's going to hold down that ribbon too. And then I'm just gonna stick some more of them around on my snowflake. And then I'm just going to kind of position it. Kind of want it in the middle. I don't want it covering up any of my words. I don't want that up so high though. There we go. And there we go. Now that's clean and simple. Isn't it cute? And you know what we could do if we wanted to bling it up just a bit, just a tiny bit? Let's grab some of our, let's just grab some of our basic rhinestones. What do you say? We can bling it up just a little bit with our basic rhinestones. You know what? I want to grab my tweezers. And let's put one in the middle of that. You don't have to do this. It's awfully cute without. But if you want to, you could definitely just take it up a notch. But it's clean and simple. So you do what you want. There we go. Pretty stinking cute, isn't it? See, I didn't put any on this one. I love it. Remember, we used our Flurry of Wishes and our softly falling embossing folder. And we've got these two gorgeous little cards. Super fast, super easy, because we're doing clean and simple. It's Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the United States, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.